So what's going on guys? Welcome to the next Android tutorial where we're going to learn about pulling out some treasure from our treasure, treasure chest instead of just putting in information. As you can see we put boolean, put string, put treasure, pretty much the same thing. So now what we're going to do is learn how to get that information. So we're going to set up our load prefs method here. Um, again it's going to be pretty easy. We want to refer to the same shared preferences uh, that we have for saving the data um, or the same room because we don't want to go to a different room and look for a treasure chest that isn't there. That wouldn't make sense. So again we're going to refer to the shared preferences that we set up here. Um, just going to copy and paste. Again we could have made this a, a variable that worked globally for this class but it doesn't really matter. We're just going to copy and paste pretty much the same thing. The next thing that we want to do is we might want to set up some values. So we're going to set up our boolean and we're going to say uh, what uh, CB value or checkbox value maybe and we're going to set this equal to be our shared preferences or the room and instead of put we're going to say get so we're going to say get boolean value and again it's referring to a key um, and a value we could have put some parameters maybe within our load preferences but since we're going to have this load preferences load up everything we're going to type it by hand manually um, so for a key, the first one is for a checkbox again, so we want to refer to the checkbox treasure chest, which we labeled checkbox. This has to be the same. Now let's say we type this incorrectly. Um, obviously we're going to try and open a treasure chest that we personally didn't put any inform information in, and that could give us some problems with our application, right? So what we want to have happen is have a default value if, if it can't find that treasure chest or if it can't open it can't see any treasure in there you know all those errors we're gonna give it a default value of false so all this is doing is we're setting up a boolean value to be either true or false obviously um, but we're gonna walk into the the shared preference room and we're gonna look for a treasure chest called checkbox and if we can't find that checkbox or if there's nothing in it or something crazy is going on it's gonna return a value of false for us otherwise if there is that treasure chest and it can find it and there's something in it it's gonna look into it and then it's going to pull out either true or false according to whenever we saved the preferences. Um, and again, that relates to whether a checkbox was checked or not uh, in our activity. So that's going to be kind of how we can pull information or get information instead of putting information in. So next what we want to do is we want to set up our string reference and we're going to call this uh, name maybe. And again, we're going to refer to the SP get string. Again, we have to refer to the key. Uh, which we labeled name and the default value will be nothing so no name there if there's a default value or we could say can't uh, find name maybe whatever you guys want to have is a default string value um, so again now we've set up two values from information that we get out of treasure chest and if it can't uh, we got some default values here so that's kind of how this works. Obviously for this application, what we probably want to do is use this load preferences um, within our onCreate method. So we can check if the checkbox was already checked or not. It said check a whole bunch of times. So if you get confused, check over the last 10 seconds. And if you guys are from Czechoslovakia, that's pretty cool too. And then we're going to set up, um, again, our settings menu to match whatever it was the last time the user saved the the settings right because if they said they don't want sound playing on their app and then they go back into the settings and like hey I swear I checked that we want to make sure uh, the checkbox visually looks the exact same as it would be in our shared preference room so it's gonna be pretty simple we're just gonna say if for example CB value again that's gonna be true or false according to whatever our treasure chest tells us um, but if it is true what we're going to do is we're going to refer to our checkbox and we're going to say set uh, checked uh, to be true as well and then maybe like we could do else cb set checked uh, to be false so now graphically it will match up with uh, the information that we have from our treasure chest or the last time they went into the settings menu um, again, maybe we want to refer to our edit text and we're going to say dot set text. And what do we want to set the text? Well, we're going to set the text of the value of um, the name reference. 
So um, the first time we run this uh, activity, it's going to say can't find name. So maybe we might, might want to put like uh, your name, depending on, you got to kind of think of where we're going to pull this information from later in different activities. So, you know, it's up to you what you want to set your default value of. Um, but again, that's kind of going to be how that works. So this will be the same each time they go into the activity or the settings menu. And uh, it looks pretty good. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, the last thing we might want to do is after we hit this on click method, we might want to finish this activity. Um, so we're just going to say finish. And then it will close our settings menu and go back to our main menu. Um, as of right now, we have this as our launcher activity. So it's going to start up first. But later, we're going to have this open as a new activity. And then we are going to close it. Kind of get what I'm saying? Um, and you know that's pretty much it for shared preferences. I'll probably show you guys how to relate to this information from a different activity in the next tutorial. Um, but as for now, that's kind of how you save and load data in our shared preferences. So thanks again for watching, guys. And I'm going to go to my real job now. So catch you guys later. Make sure you check that like button.